Hey guys, and welcome back to our White Tigers Rising series here with the Truro City Football Club. We are here end of January. We are currently sitting second in the table in League One on 46 points. Um, another tough month, and on top of it, Injury City uh, is what we're experiencing. So, uh, we're trying to hang tough. We're out of the FA Cup. We lost the replay against Sheffield United. Not a giant shocker there. Uh, we went down 3 um, you know, We got hammered uh, in there. Um, you'll see in the highlights, it's been, a, it's been a rough month. We're trying to hold our own, but um, injuries have taken their toll. So, let's just jump in and take a look. So, Francis Hudson is out for another four to six weeks. Our top goal scorer, Dan Nichols, out four to five weeks. Uh, big assist man on the air. Borthwick Jackson, he's out another week. Simon Ray coming back to fitness, uh, missing this game. Um, we've just been taking a beating here, left, right, and center. So we're trying to do as best we can to kind of hold things together and kind and make a stretch run in the spring. Um, but just tough, tough stuff. So goals, Francis Hudson still the top. Russo. Uh, Nichols uh, is still in there, Robson, uh, but Francis Hudson being sidelined for another five weeks really, really puts the hurt on us. Ben Holmes, eight assists, leading the assists again. Will Russo in there, uh, Simon Ray, Ethan Robson uh, all in there. Ben Holmes now tied for joint top man of the match. Again, Simon Ray has been the top. Kieran Turner. New, he's our new right back to replace Trent Alexander Arnold, who has moved on to Millwall for some decent dollars. Um, this is a big transfer in for us, um, but again, I've tried to replace a big player going out with a championship level player who is slightly younger coming in. Um, he played a lot at Doncaster; they really developed him. He's got uh, championship potential, so. Pretty happy, good physicals, good kind of mentals. Um, pleased with what we did in this bit of business. So that's pretty much it for the overview. It's been a rough month. We're hoping to turn this one around. So uh, check out some highlights, and I will see you guys for the Port Vale game.
Okay, we are back for the Port Vale game. Uh, Dan Nichols injured. Good thing we have Big Zach Durnley, who's been a little off his game uh, a scotch here. Um, we're going to leave Simon Ray on the bench. Uh, go advance playmaker here. We are sort of running out of guys to stick on the bench. Uh, we are thin at the moment. We are most assuredly thin um, here. So Chevalier, Price, Sweeney, and Turner across the back. Holmes, Robeson, Knight, and Durnley. You know what? We're going to try and get that. And then Russo and Ebit up front. Uh, we've got about we've got to survive. February where we're at and I think we're, we'll be able to make a stretch run because we'll get a bunch of guys back that'll greatly improve the caliber and quality of the side um, but until that point we are sort of hanging on for all we are worth so let's see if we can't um, let's see if we can't get out here and uh, do something useful Again, just a little, a little nervous that that this is a tough series, you know, of matches coming up. The the month, you know, we're trying to hold on to the automatic promotion places. That's really what the aim is. Winning the league, winning League One would be amazing, um, but that's not really what we're what we're gunning for here. Um, I mean, it is to some degree or another, but uh, what I'm really sort of hunting after is the automatic promotion slot. So first or second is something uh, I'm... Oh, Ben Knight. Damn it. Um, first or second is something I'm totally okay with. The key is get the promotion, start the process of building for the championship early without the need for contesting uh, playoff spots and, and fighting that fight. Um, oh, come on, guys. You can't just give that kind of crap away. That's what we're really looking for here is is really the automatic promotion place because um, getting out of this mess and making sure that we're ahead of the game that gives us the full transfer window to contemplate uh, what a championship side is, what we need to do, what deals we can make, how we can secure loans, all that kind of stuff um, is really a part parcel of... of getting promoted there so um, that's huge for us and that's really what we're going to be aiming for uh, assuming we can get out of our own goddamn way here um, we have a lot of players set to leave as well so being able to make that decision uh, is going to be crucial for us as to whether or not we need to start getting into re-signing a bunch of players to make another push in League 1 which I absolutely don't want to be getting involved in um, and I don't want to get caught into a bit of a contract piece here where we start signing guys so we can kind of hold out for um, what we're doing in League One in case we go up and then kind of having to deal with uh, a mishmash of players out there that we don't really want in the championship. Ben Holmes uh, coming through on that one. So uh, we're, we're really moving into a hugely pivotal time for the club um, here. So much of our performances are really going to dictate what's going on and uh, our planning and our thinking and what's going to happen. Durnley to Holmes is such an amazing connection. Um, those two guys are such heroes for the club, uh, you know, in the long haul here. Just absolute heroes of the club. Uh, we may have to get Zach Durnley put on the back of one of my Truro City jerseys, or, or Ben Holmes. I don't know. One of them may des one of them may deserve custom lettering on the back of one of my Truro City jerseys. Um, we'll have to see. But we haven't uh, we haven't had a hero yet. Although Rakawamwe and the big plays coming up to get in this deep uh, was huge. I don't know. We haven't had that hero just yet. 
but Holmes and Durnley have certainly played a part. Robeson just hit his 100th appearance. Holmes just hit 150. So we've got some guys who have certainly put in a shift for the club. Ah, Cameron Abit, way off sides. Disappointed he missed the net there. Um, we have some guys who have seriously put in some good shifts. Um, you know, we're sort of full on into regen mode here, so... Maybe we'll get some... Oh, Ebit! Boom! We are taking it to Port Vale today! Zach Durnley, the man, the myth, the legend. From the line, one touch, right there. Nothing strikers can do but finish beautifully with that. Beautifully. We got another one? Ah, oh, don't do this to me. Oof, over the top. Do not go around. There we go. Love and Burge, solid keeper there. Solid, solid keeper from Lee Burge. Chevalier in the right place. Ebit, come on. Knight, Robeson. Come on, let's go, guys. Ooh, Durnley trying to get in on the action. Turner has so far shown up to be a very competent replacement for Trent Alexander-Arnold. So I think that's turning into money well spent. Um, admittedly, it was big dollars for us, but um, I would call it money very well spent. Come on. You can't do things like that, Ben. you got to get him in there. Um, I would definitely call that money very, very well spent for us. Let's go. Let's keep the action on fire. Because Truro City is starting to hit that point where, dare I say, en fuego. Of course, we're going to lose this game now that I've said that, but, you know, what the hell. <laughs> Thurnley with a brace on the assist side. Ooh. Robson, come on. Sometimes we're a little too patient for our own good. Um, we're a little bit of in, you know oomph would go a long way into trying to put some of these goals in. Uh, but what you going to do, I guess. Oh, do not let this one go in. Going to be pissed. There we go. Okay, we're going to have to start making some substitutions soon. Oh, there's the goal. Saw that one coming for a while. I've got two guys on him. Right at the keeper. Nobody can do anything about it. We're only up 2-1. Come on, Ben. Can we go for a third? Nope. We're going to let a second one in. That's what this feels like. Oh. Okay, let's stop and take a look at what's going on. Will Russo is having a crap day. He's not really a false nine, so I feel bad for sticking him there. Uh, unfortunately, we're sort of all sorts of jammed up there. Um, unfortunately, we're just all sorts of jammed up um, until we kind of get things. We're going to end up, it's going to feel like we're getting signings. You know, I, I understand you know, how that feels. We're... Getting guys back, February is going to be our absolutely make-or-break month. If we can use the team we've got, it's going to test our depth all the way. If the team we have can push its way all the way through what we've got going on, then we're going to be in... Why would you stop running that? Um, we're going to be in great shape. If we can't win games and we can't seem to manage to pull points out of, what, of these kind of situations and hold on to these kind, kind of games... Um, it's going to be too late by the time we get guys back in March. Um, we're just not going to be able to do anything about it. Robeson is pivotal. Knight's a pivotal guy. Robeson and Ray are pivotal guys for us in that midfield. Um, Durnley's going to, you know, having him act out on the uh, out on the wing there is going to be an... Oh, God damn it. 
um, is going to be enormous. Turner being a successful replacement is going to be huge for us. Um, EBIT being able to turn in performances. We're going out looking for a striker, um, that, a false nine. That's, you know, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that I think I've got the depth up front for goal scoring. So we're gonna oh do not do this. Fuck. God damn it. Like, this is the kind of shit that we can't do. If we do this, we're doomed. I have everybody and their little goddamn brother there. And yet we let it in. Again, we're exhausted. You know, the guys are dead on their feet again from tons of matches right after each other. There we go. We're up in a second still. Um, no. I, I don't... I'm not happy with what I saw. We're in second still. We're three points behind crew. We really need to get our act together. So, let's take a look at what we got from the schedule perspective here. So, Swindon, a game we're going to have to get points out of. Luton, a tough game. Knott's one we're going to have to win. Barnsley one we're going to have to win, and then our old nemesis, Northampton, for the next live com. So until then, guys, do remember to leave a like on the video. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. It does mean a lot to us. Tell your friends, have them subscribe as well. Check out the rest of the content on the channel. Do check out the podcast. Check out Paul's Creating Legacy series, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye now.